Hello, everybody. Good evening. Hello, people. Are you there? If you're there, please turn Good on your evening. cameras. Good evening. Good evening. Turn on your cameras because it's time for the class, guys. All right. So it's good to have you here again in the second uh, video conference of this module. So how are you today, guys? How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, mister. Hi, good evening, everyone. Good evening, hi. All right, so how are you today, guys? Are you tired? Are you relaxed? Are you, like, happy to be here? Or are you, like, kind of, like, sleepy? Or are you with, are you with hambre? Mm -hmm. How are you today, guys? <laughs> Okay, so it's good to have you here, as I said, right before. So we're going to continue uh, with, you know, like the development of uh, the class time. But before starting with that, I'm going to wait for a couple of uh, you to get connected because we got just, uh, ah, we got 15 students. That's good. That's good. All right. So well, let's just start just talking a little bit, right? Uh, like Roberto, how are you today, Roberto? Mm -hmm. Hi, good evening, teacher. Hi. It's a pleasure to know you in this okay. spot. Right, it was a good go. day. And, you know, today, Friday, mo most of the mates here are happy. Tomorrow we are going to start the weekend. Ah, oh, man, that's good. Uh, some, of, some of we have to work tomorrow, but it doesn't matter. We are going to get extra money. <laughs> yeah, man, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if we are so like, tired because not that bad. it makes sense. Yeah, we keep we kept working the whole week, uh, so therefore, uh, we are so tired. Uh, in my, yeah, in our man. case, but in your case, I think you feel super chilling. Not actually. Actually, actually, <laughs> tomorrow, tomorrow it's my most difficult day because I start working at eight and I finish working at five. So it's a little bit more difficult to me on Saturdays. Uh, back in the past, I used to work on Sundays also. Just imagine the seven days of the week with no uh, day to uh, day off. I mean, that was horrible. Uh, then, but you know. That's horrible. At, yeah, the end, I got at, you. at the end, the only motivation that we get is the money when we get paid, right? That, yeah. That's, that's the motivation. Yeah, we, we get paid. <laughs> exactly. And the reason we are working. Exactly. And the sad part is that, like, in a week, you have nothing. <laughs> All right. But that's good. That's good. Yes. Okay. All right. Good to know you, mister. Glad you're here. We got it's a pleasure. Roberto. It's been a pleasure. Okay. Very good. Ah, we got another Roberto here, right? So we got your Roberto Beltran. We got Roberto Guzman. Okay. I mean, we got two Robertos. Okay. Excellent. All right, guys, let's keep in mind. Please try to uh, not having the cameras off, right? Um, why am I saying that? Because I do really feel uncomfortable talking to you and with you with the cameras off. And it's like, uh, it seems like I'm talking to, the, to, the, to a wall, man, or something like that. And I don't really like that. I mean, I do really like having, you know, like very interactive classes. And that's the idea. Okay. So I think we got enough students. So I'm gonna go through the attendance list just to start over people. Uh, let me see, Alfredo Enrique. Thank you. Hello, teacher. Okay, perfect, you're there. Um, Ana Maria Rivas. Ana Maria. Hello, teacher. Okay, perfect. Uh, Brenda Angelica. Is Brenda here? 
Mm, all right, so she's not here yet. Uh, Carmen Beatriz. Carmen Beatriz Castillo. Is she here? Mm, no, all right, so she's not here yet. Selena Janet. Thank you, teacher. Okay, thank you. Mm, Clara Marina. Clara, are you there? I am interested. Hi, Clara. You listen to me? Hi, teacher. <laughs> okay, okay. Right, so... <laughs> ah, okay, okay. All right, uh, Christian Eduardo. Present teacher. Okay, hey, good to see you again, Christian. All right, let me see. Uh -huh. It's good, brother. Uh, let me see, David Alberto. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. David Armando. So we got two of these here. So David Armando, I think he's not here yet. Okay. Uh, Denis Gerardo. Present. Ah, okay. And the jerk. Okay. Thank you. Diego Rodolfo. Good evening, teacher. Present. Hi. Okay. Thank you. Erika Michel. Teacher. Okay, thank you. Mm, Fatima Laura. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Gabriela Margarita. Is Gabriela here? Mm, all right, so she's not here. Griselda Jamilet. Griselda, Griselda, Eras, I just not connected yet. Guillermo Josue. Mm, okay. Now here, Jaime Vladimir. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Uh, Jenny Marisol. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Jose Roberto. Presente. Okay, perfect. Jocelyn Abigail. Present. Okay, very good. Uh, Rafael Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Uh, Roberto Antonio. Present. Okay, very nice. Let me see Sonia Guadalupe. Present. Okay, good. Uh, Walter Manuel. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Janira uh, Isabel. Present. Okay, good. And we got the last one, Judy Magdalena. Present teacher. Okay, very nice. All right, people. So we're going to start uh, with the class content that we got uh, for tonight. <clears throat> but before starting with that, I would like to make a short feedback from the previous class. What was the most relevant that we were discussing in the last class, guys? For the one who were connected the last class last class. What do you remember, people? We're going to start with that in order to continue with the new topic that we're going to be discussing tonight. What do you guys remember from the previous class? Frequency adverbs. Frequency adverbs. Okay, very good. So we were talking about frequency adverbs. Okay, excellent. What else? What else do you guys remember from yesterday's class? Always. 
Nehm. Sonntag. Aha. Okay, very good. Okay, excellent. Aha. Okay, very good. So, okay, perfect. So, basically, uh, those ones, right? Okay, perfect. Those uh, words or adverbs help us. Okay, often we got another one. Those adverbs help us to identify how frequent we do an activity, right? So that's what basically a, a frequency adverb is for most of the time, right? Okay, very good. Besides frequency adverbs, what else were we discussing? What else do you guys remember? Vamos a darle prioridad a las que tienen la cámara apagada. Vamos a ver si realmente están ahí. Let me see. Uh, who was here? Ah, Griselda is here. Griselda, do you listen to me? Griselda, are you there? Hmm, I think she's sleeping or something like that. All right. Uh, let me see. Diego Ruano, are you there? Yes, teacher, tell me. Okay. All right, Diego. If I, uh, if I want to ask a question, because I want to know uh, how frequent a person does an activity, what is the kind of question that I should ask? Mm -hmm. I must to use, let me see. Oh, I, I forget. <laughs> I, I know. Okay, I, don't I, will, know I, will, I, I will help you up, Diego. It, it starts with how often. Ah, uh, yeah, how often? Got it? Okay, good. Can you can you give yeah, me an example often. question? If okay. you remember. Uh, how, how often do you wash your car? <laughs> okay, perfect. Very good. So, guys, in this context, you got two ways of answer to this question. Thank you, Diego, by the way. That's a good question. If Diego asks me, how often do you wash your car? So I got two ways of answer. One, with a frequency adverse, like I can say, I sometimes wash my car, I always wash my car, or in this case, I never wash my car. Or I can use a frequency word. ¿Se acuerdan de las frequency words que vimos al final? We also can answer with those yeah, ones. For example, so we can say, I wash my car uh, once a week. I wash my car once a month. So when or in what situations can we use frequency words? Quiero que entiendan esta diferencia. Frequency adverbs and frequency words are different. They are different. We use frequency adverbs basically when we mention how frequently we do an activity but in a general form right like if i say i always wash my car it's como ah yo siempre lavo mi carro right but in there i am not being specific how many times do i do that activity no menciono cuantas veces lo hago right but if you want to be very specific you can use the frequency words that in this case you can say, I mean, I wash my car once a month. Ah, lavo mi carro una vez al mes. So you are very specific on that, right? And you're showing how frequently you do also uh, that activity, okay? So that one, it's basically related to uh, the topic that we were just discussing yesterday, guys. Now we're going to continue with a couple of activities. Give me one second, guys. Related to this. I'm going to open up the manual that we got here. 
and we are going to start with something mostly for a pronunciation. Give me one second. Now I'm going to show you something really quick about how you guys should got. All right. This is going to be this one. It says, we're going to say a little bit about how to pronounce, okay, a direct address or when you say something to someone, what is the correct pronunciation that you should apply to short sentences when you direct a simple command or sentence to someone. For example, you get a series of uh, sentences in here, people, all right? And... In here, if you see, you got a little arrow on there that is falling down at the end of the sentence. What does it mean? It means that the intonation of the sentence will decrease when you finish the sentence. For example, it says, you're really fit, Paul. So in this case, the last two words, you decrease the stress, all right? <clears throat> Look at, look, let's pay attention to me. It says, you're really fit, Paul. So in this case, you don't raise the intonation, but you fold the intonation at the end of the sentence. Like, she looks tired, James. Or I feel great, Dr. Lee. So you see, generally, when it comes to sentences like this, or when you guys are directing a sentence, or you're talking to someone, you have to keep on mind the correct intonation. And basically, at the end of the sentence, you have to decrease the intonation, all right? This is the way how you guys uh, are going to be developing this kind of a skills related to pronunciation, okay? And it comes to, like, in every expression that you can mention. For example, I'm gonna I'm gonna choose one of you. Let me see. I'm gonna use Jaime. Check this out. Um, Okay, check this out. I got this this short sentence in here, guys. You look tired, Jaime. So you see, I start with a raised intonation and I'm decreasing the intonation at the end of the sentence. All right? Ah, you look really tired, Jaime. So you see, you generally decrease the intonation at the end of the sentence. Generalmente, Bajamos la entonación al final de la oración, right? Cuando nosotros subimos la entonación al final de una, de una oración, por así decirlo. Cuando aplicamos una oración a una pregunta. In a question, you raise the intonation. In a normal sentence, you decrease the intonation. Why am I saying this? Because this is a requirement that we got in the platform, okay? Good. Now, guys. I don't know if you have any question with this. Are we okay with this? Tenemos preguntas o vamos bien hasta acá? Are you guys understanding? And that kind of weird, man. Are you guys understanding this? How to uh, properly use the intonation? So you said for the in a normal sentence, we are going to decrease the intonation. And for the make end. a question, exactly. you have to raise the intonation. You got to raise the intonation. Just at the exactly. end. Exactly. Just at the end. Very good. Okay. Good. Uh, for the ones who got the cameras on, I want you to choose one of your classmates. Quiero que escojan a uno de sus compañeros. Obsérvenlo bien y hagan una oración corta así como esta, sobre sus compañeros. 
all right? It can be about anything, but it has to show the decreasing intonation of something, right? Choose one of your classmates, right? And write down a short example, okay? When you finish, let me know, or you can turn on your microphone and read the sentence. For this one, I want you, you guys to read, okay? Because they need to listen how you intonate the sentence. Once finished, let me know, please. All right, you got it, people? Yeah, I got you, I got you. Okay, perfect. Can you read it your example? Whatever whatever kind of a question or maybe a, a uh, affirmation sentence. question. Inform affirmation sentence. Information just sentence. a sentence. Maybe, yeah, just a sentence, a normal sentence. Okay, I can say she got my mate Christian Rodriguez. Christian, Christian. Oh, ah, yeah, I you got it there. Say... What can you say about Christian? Um, she looks confused. Ah, uh, a he simple or she... sentence. Or you want me to make a very huge sentence? No, what do I really want is you to choose, listen up, you to get the decreasing intonation at the end of the sentence, okay? Can you repeat the sentence again? The sentence is okay. Mm. Christian Rodriguez looks confused. All right. Or you might say, ah, man, Christian, you look confused. All right. Okay. Thank you, Robert. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, man. All right. You Clara. look the sheer. You look, you look black the sheer Davis. Give me one second. That I look black. Oh, my shirt looks black. I mean, I didn't get it. Okay, repeat again, please. Está bien, sí o me equivoqué. <laughs> okay, I mean, repeat, repeat the sentence again because I, I, I didn't get it. You, you look black, the sheer Davis. Ah, you mean you, you're directing the sentence to David? Que la camisa de David es negra. <laughs> Ajá. No, in that case, it will be like this. Let, let, let's make it simpler. All right. Check this out. Like this. Your shirt is black. David. Like this. Your shirt looks yes, black, teacher. David. Okay, good. Okay, but I want you to read it. Can you please help me out reading that one? Clara, ¿me podría leer la oración? I want to listen to you, the, the, the intonation that you give at the end. Your shirt is black, David. Okay, remember, your shirt is black, David. Okay, very good. And David is like, ah, okay. <laughs> All right, very good. Who's next, guys? Thank you, Clara, by the way. Uh, let me see, Robert Beltran has, has done. Roberto Guzman, can you give me an example, mister? Okay. <clears throat> he looks so relaxed. Walter Reyes. Ah, okay. He looks relaxed. All right. Okay, perfect. Yeah, he's fresh, he says. Fresco como lechuga. Right, Walter? <laughs> yeah. 
It doesn't mean you even listen. Okay, thank you, Roberto. Walter, you got the sentence? She looks funny, Fatima Laura. Ah, she looks funny. All right, Fatima. Where is Fatima? Ah, okay. All right. Thank you, Walter. Good. Michelle. You got your example? You look tired. You look tired. And and who you mentioned? Uh, who did you mention? Because I didn't listen the end. A quien mencionó al final que no lo escuché. Alfredo. Ah, mean Alfredo. Okay. I didn't listen to the end. Okay. Thank you, Michelle. All right. Uh, Isabel. Eh, ya no sé si está bien así, no, teacher, pero si no, pues ahí me corrige, okay. porque tengo dudas con la pronuncia. Okay. Es, you look relaxed, como de relajado, relaxed. Ok, relaxed, 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 we, we oh, tease relax. down at the end, ok. You look relaxed, Dennis. Ok. Ok, very good. It's because he's sleeping. <laughs> Jaime. Yes, teacher. You look the game, David. Ah, okay. Very good. Thank you, mister. All right, who's next? Who's missing? Judy? Do you have your example, Judy? Mrs. Judy Magdalena, are you there? You knew... You... Hey. Uh, you knew your glasses, Jaime? You knew your glasses, Jaime? Okay, all right. There you go. Thank you. Okay, let me see. Who else is missing? Fatima Laura, do you have your example? My classmates look friendly. Okay, my classmates look friendly. All right, so remember, right? The decreasement at the end of the sentence. Perfect, thank you, Fatima. Uh, Jocelyn? Um, you look happy, Clara. Okay, you look happy, Clara. Yeah, man, Clara is always happy, right? Okay. Yes, teacher, happy. <laughs> Even even when you're angry at someone, you're like smiling, like, ah, I wanna kill you. Like that? Or no? <laughs> All right. Okay, let me see. Who else is missing? Dennis. Dennis? Do you have your example? Yeah. Mr. All right. <laughs> I'm here. Okay. Uh, you look serious, Jocelyn. <laughs> she looks, brother. She looks. No sé si es que no, 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 no está escuchando muy bien. <laughs> Are you serious, Jocelyn? Are you, like, serious? Yes. I mean, and she says with authority, yes, you see, with no smiling face. Good, all right. <laughs> all right, Alfredo, do you have your example, mister? Yes. Yo no sé si entendí bien a lo que se produce la pronunciación y entonación, ¿verdad? Okay. Pero la mía sería como, what are you doing, Clara? Ah, pero en ese caso ya es una pregunta, Alfredo. Y es correcto porque la entonación sube al final. What are you doing? So listen up. What are you doing? So la entonación al final se aumenta para dar a entender que es una pregunta, right? So that's a question. Pero en una normal sentence, Alfredo, uh -huh. en vez de subir, sí. baja. ¿Ok? 
Ah, ok. All right. No, pues, entendí, entendido. Ah, ok. Now you got an idea, right? All right. But actually, thank you for your, uh, your, your example question, Jenny. Yeah. You look good, uh, Judy. Okay, you look good, Judy. Mm, you mean, te ves bien? That's what you want to say? Jenny? That's what you want to tell your friend? That you look, you look good, but te ves bien? Yes. Uh, okay, okay, got it. Thank you. Let me see who else is missing. Uh, Guillermo. You there, Guillermo? Guillermo. Uh, all right, so he's not there, I guess. Carmen? Are you there, Carmen? I mean, Karen is Carmen. Are you there, Karen? I was changing your name, Karen. Okay, teacher. Uh, do you look a uh, good Gabby? You look good, Gabby. Okay, all right, perfect. Thank you. Uh, Diego, do you have your example, Diego? Diego, are you there? Excuse me, uh, teacher, uh, me. Ah, uh, yeah. Your example, mister. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, maybe. Are you going to eat with us, Robert? Okay, that's a very good properly intonation on a sentence. I mean, on a question. But what about a, a normal sentence, Diego? That you are, you are going to eat with us, Robert? Uh, but um, that's mostly a question, Diego. It has to be a normal sentence, not a question. Okay, in normal sense. Uh, <laughs> But uh, I will to to change it, the 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 old sentence. No, uh, not actually, because you can say you're going to eat with us, Diego, or whatever you can mention, right? But don't raise oh. the intonation. Instead of raising up, decrease it. Okay. Like this. I, I don't know if I, I don't know if I, I comprehension well. Okay. Okay, check this out. Yes. So here I can uh got a proper intonation like, hey, you're going to eat with us, Diego. So you see, this is a normal sentence, okay? Now, if I make yes. this ah, okay. question, it's a little bit different. Porque ya ahí, ya la entonación en vez de subir, baja en una oración normal. Hey, you're going to eat with us, Diego. So you see, it's like decreasing instead of increasing. All right? That's, that's what the Rouse says at the end, okay? Decrease the intonation. In a normal question, you increase it, okay? Oh, Chris. Mm -hmm. But in a sentence, in a normal okay. sentence, you decrease. Okay, it. okay, thank you. Okay, very good. So just, I know that is missing just a couple of you guys, but I need you to get on something. Give me one second. We're going to step out in here and uh, we are going to move to the grammar aspect that we have in here. Give me one second. I would like you to practice this short 
uh, conversation that we got over here. Okay. All right, so we got a short conversation practice in here, guys, that I would like we to start uh, and practice a little bit. And it says, conversation. I'm a real fitness freak. How do you guys interpret that? I'm a real fitness freak. ¿Qué creen que significa esa, esa oración? I'm a real fitness freak. Do you guys have any idea? ¿Qué creen que significa esa, or esa oración? Fitness come from the word on shape, right? Like when you go to the gym. What the freak in this case? What do you think is that? Estoy en forma. Mm, okay, kind of like that. Solo que I'm a real fitness freak significa soy un gran aficionado al fitness o a estar en forma, right? Freak en fanático. este caso, como fanático o aficionado, right? A estar en forma. That's a fitness freak. Okay, so we got a short conversation to practice in here, guys. And I would like to uh, listen a couple of you practicing this short conversation. Then we're going to see some grammar uh, aspects related to these ones, okay? So this conversation is between Ruth and Kate. Listen up. It says, you're in great shape, Kate. It says, Kate, thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. Ruth says, how often do you work out? How often do you work out? Kate says, well, I do aerobics twice a week and I play tennis every week. Ruth says, tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun, a lot of fun. That sounds like a lot of fun. Kate says, oh, do you want to play sometime? Do you want to play sometime? Ruth says, who? How well do you play? How well do you play? It says, Kate, pretty well, I guess. Pretty well, I guess. Ruth says, well, all right but I'm not very good. Kate says, no problem. I'll give you a few tips. All right, from this short conversation, do you have any question with the vocabulary that appears there? Tenemos alguna pregunta con el vocabulario que aquí aparece? Or do you guys understand everything in here? O entendemos todo el vocabulario de esta conversación. Guys, are you there? It's okay, teachers. It's okay. Everything okay? All right, perfect. Okay, why is this perfect? Because I now want you guys to practice this. I want to listen to you. And I'm going to make a short, uh, let me see, a short uh, joining of person here. Okay, Jaime. Jaime Vladimir and... Uh, yes, teacher. And Diego. Okay, Jaime, you're going to be Ruth and Diego, it's going to be Kate. Yes. Can you please help me out practice this, practicing this short conversation? I do. Okay. Like... All right. You're 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 in great shape. Okay. Thanks. I guess I am a real fitness freak. All right. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week, and I play tennis every week. 
Dennis, that sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Oh, how well, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but not very good. No problem. He'll give you a few tips. Okay, I'll, in this case, I'll give you a few tips. I'll. Yes, like that. Okay. Okay. I'll. Very good. Thank you, Diego and Jaime. Now, Christian and Robert, Roberto Beltran. Yes. All right. You can start, please. Okay. Yeah. You, you are in great cape, cape. Thanks, I guess I'm real fitness fit. How often do you work, work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Oh, how well do you play? Really well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Okay, very good. Thank you to you both. You did it excellent. Uh, let me see who's next. Michelle and uh, David. Can you guys help me out in here? David, you can be uh, Kate and Michelle can be Ruth. Michelle? Hello. You can Hello. start Michelle. Um, okay. ¿Empiezo yo? Yes. ¿Se escucha cortado? Siento. No, it's okay, it's okay. You're in the, the grass, safe. Okay. Thanks. I guess I am real fitness freak. Mm -hmm. How often do you work out? Well, I, I do aerobic 12 a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play some fun? How well do you play? Do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right. But I'm not very good. No problem. I give you a few time tips. All right, I will give you a few tips. Okay, there you go. Thank you, David and Michelle. Okay, very good. Let me see who's next. Rafael and Walter. Rafael, you can start, Mister. Okay. You're in great shape. Okay. Thanks. I guess I am a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds something like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? How well do you play? Very well, I was. I guess. No, I try, but I am not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. All right, I'll Maybe give you a few too. tips. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Rafael and Walter. Thank you. Now, Isabel, can you please help me out with uh, Alfredo? Como dijo, teacher, no le escuché bien. Uh, can you... Help me out practicing this short conversation with Alfredo Enrique. You can start, Isabel. 
Que yo inicio, dijo. Yes, you can start. Ok, es que le escuché cortado. Ah, ok. okay. You are in great shape. Eight. Thank I guess um real fitness break. Break. Okay. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobic this a week and I play tennis every week. Okay. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Mm. How well do you play? Uh, pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I am not very good. No problem. I give you a feel time. Okay. Tips. I'll give you a few tips. Repeat that, Alfredo. I'll give you a few tips. I I uh, give you a few tips. A few tips. Okay. All right. There you go. A few tips. Okay. Very good. Thank you, uh, Isabel and Alfredo. Now, Clara, can you help me out with uh, Jenny? No, Miss you can start, Clara. Um, yo empiezo, teacher. Yes, yes, you. Your, your grid, shy, shy pen, okay? Okay, okay, listen. Okay, relax. You're in great shape. Repeat that. Ah, you got the microphone. You're in great. Oh, listen, listen. Great, great. Great. Shape. Shape. Okay. Shape. Okay. All right. Thanks. I. I guess I am real fitness freak. Okay. How, how often do you work out? Out, okay. Well, I do. Well, I do aerobic twice a week, and wow. I play tennis every week. Okay. Tennis. That that sound like a lot of fun. That's a lot. Of oh, do you a lot of fun? fun? Right. Oh. Do you want to play sometimes? Mm, how how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Uh, pretty well, I guess. Uh, not actually. That's what uh, Jenny read. Creo que es en la que le dio Jenny. La, la que le ah, well, uh, well, I'll... Right, right. Uh -huh. but, but I am not very good. But I'm not very good. All right. No problem. No problem. I'll I give you a few tips. Okay, very good. Thank you, Clara. All right, and Jenny, you did it excellent. Now let's move on, guys. Uh, we got Roberto Guzman and Jocelyn. Can you guys please help me out? Who star? You, mister. You're in great shape, care kid. Thanks. I guess I'm real fitness freak. How often do you work out? How often? Well, I do aerobic twice a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis, that sounds like a lot of fun. 
Oh, do you want to play some time? Um, how well do you play? Very well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I give you a few tips. Okay, very good. Thank you, Roberto and Jocelyn. You did it excellent. Now, Dennis and Judy. All right, guys. Who is first? You, mister. Okay. You're in great shape, Kay. Thanks. I guess I am real, real finished Fred. Freak. How often do you wear up? Well, I do aerobics twice a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh. Do you want to play sometimes? Oh, how well do you play? Very well, I guess. I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I will, I will you a few tips. Okay, I'll give you a few tips. I'll, I'll, I... Give you a few, a few tips. A few tips, ok. A ese de I, I es como si pusiésemos I, una L, el sonido de una L justo después de I. I'll, right? I, I, ok. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Thank you, Dennis and Judy. Now, Fátima. Fátima, Laura, and uh, Gabriela. Are you there, Gabriela Vázquez? Gabriela. All right, so I think, I think Gabriela is not there. Uh, Fatima, you're going to be practicing with Sonia. Fatima, you can start. You're, you're in great shape, Kate. Great. Thanks. I guess I am real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis, that sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you do you want to play something? Oh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. A few tips. Okay, very good. Thank you, Fatima and Zonia. Now, Christian, I think you haven't participated, Christian. And Ana Maria. Yes. Yo de nuevo, teacher. ¿Ya participó? Okay. ¿Ya participó, Cristian? Yes. Ok. Uh, give me one second. Pero, 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 pero. Ok. Give me one second. I just need to know if Karen is here. Karen, are you there, miss? Hola. Ah, she's there. All right. Thank you, Cristian. But... Yes. All right. Ana okay. Maria is going to be practicing with Karen. Ok. Ana Maria, you can start. You're way up. You're in great shape, Kate. Thanks. I get I am really finished. Uh, fitness freak. Real fitness freak. Well, I do aerobics with a wit and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That song like a lot of fun. Oh, do you I want to play someday? Sometime. Oh, how well do you play? Pretty, 
where I guess. Well, all right. But I'm not very good. No problem. I am get you a few things. Okay. I'll listen up. Repeat after me. I'll I'll give you I do a few things. A, a few things. Few, a few tips. A few tips. Okay. A Very good. Tips. Ajá, a few tips. Es como, ah, te daré un par de, de tips, right? Un par de consejos. All right. Now, guys, uh, what are we going to take from this conversation? ¿Qué vamos a tomar de ahí? Vamos a tomar la parte gramatical que tenemos ahí para entender qué está explícito en here. And in here, we can find questions using how. Estas preguntas por lo general se les conoce como how questions, ¿ok? And we got how often, creo que es la más común, the one that we guys have been uh, discussing, right? How often? That's what you normally uh, were working with yesterday. But now we got another one. How long? We got this one. How long? What do you think how long means, guys? ¿Qué creen que signifique how long? Okay. In this context, how long means por cuánto tiempo. Cuánto tiempo. Exactly. How long means por cuánto tiempo. So generally here, what we answer is with a certain amount of time. Okay? Like, for example, guys, so I can ask a question. Check this out. How long do you spend in class? How long do you spend in class? ¿Qué les estoy preguntando acá? How long do you spend in class? This literally says, ¿Por cuánto tiempo estás en la clase? Right? O, ¿Por cuánto tiempo pasas en la clase? Right? So, in this case, ¿Cómo sería su respuesta? One hour daily. Mm, okay. One hour. One hour. Uh -huh. one hour. And that will be the answer, right? Ah, one hour. Okay, because... One hour every day. Exactly. One hour, you can even include it every day. Exactly. You can even include that, right? Because you're being specific with the question. Now, that's like using how long. Remember, how long means por cuánto tiempo. Okay? Another example, like for example, uh, if I ask you guys, how long do you work for? How long do you work for? What would be your answer? How long do you work for? Mm -hmm. How long do you work for? Literalmente les estoy diciendo o les estoy preguntando por cuánto tiempo trabajan. Right? So, in this eight case, hours. say eight hours, right? Eight hours. And you got the answer there. Okay? Now, after how long you got how, how, listen up, how well. This is the other one that you got here. How well. Okay, listen. Todos sabemos que la palabra good significa bien, right? Es un adjetivo para describir cómo nosotros estamos. How, I mean, good. Pero en este caso, well, es un adverbio. Es la forma adverbial del adjetivo good, que también significa, right, bien. How well in this context means que tan bien. Okay, que tan bien. 
All right? Like in this context, how well do you play tennis? Right? How well do you play tennis? And you got the question there. And you can answer pretty well. ¿Cómo interpretan eso de pretty well? Ahí no es bonito bien, right? ¿Qué quiere decir ese pretty well, guys? ¿Qué tan bonito? Eh, no. Pretty well significa muy bien. En este contexto, pretty significa muy. ¿Ok? Pretty well, muy bien. ¿Ok? Pretty en este contexto reemplaza la palabra very, very well. ¿Ok? Y luego tenemos about average. Ese de about average es como, ah, medio, un promedio, right? Ni bien ni mal. En not very well, that's a negative. No muy bien, right? Not very well means no muy bien. All right? In this context. And then we got the last one. Y luego tenemos la última. Okay? okay. Con esta nos quedamos. How good. All right. Si pueden observar ahí, ya con how good no tenemos do you, sino are you. ¿Por qué how good lleva el are you y no el do you? Sencillo, porque good es un adjetivo. Por lo tanto, con adjetivos, el verbo que generalmente se usa es el verbo to be. Por eso tenemos are ahí. How good are you at sports? Y también eres con los deportes. All right? That's like the way how we got it there. Okay? This is the way how we managed in here. Recuerden, con how good nunca vamos a usar una pregunta usando do. Siempre será are o is, ¿ok? Cuando es una pregunta en tercera persona, ¿ok? For example, how good is Roberto at the gym? How good is Roberto at the gym? Ah, que también es Roberto en el gimnasio. Right? Ah, you might say, ah, he is good, pretty good, ah, muy bien, okay, ah, es, es bien, right? Oh, not so good, ah, no tan bien, okay? Keep that in mind. Con how good, por lo general la pregunta siempre va a ser utilizando el verbo to be, okay? Good. Before we go, people, ¿tenemos alguna pregunta con relación a estas estructuras? Something that you guys don't understand that much? Y con esta nos vamos a ir. Teacher, entonces, el, en, esta, en esta estructura, el how se utiliza eh, más que todo para preguntar tu... Normalmente how es como, ¿verdad? Exactly. En este caso, Pero... how uh -huh. significa como. Por sí solo, how es como. Pero en este caso, ya unido con estas otras expresiones, ya va a depender de la expresión que se le agregue y así es el significado que va a dar. Pero, me, bueno, yo escuché que decía, por ejemplo, que eh, tan, eh, cuando decía en How Well, que tan bueno, entonces, ah, que tan eh, bien, how, así como el, ah, que tan bien, como el, como el que, el, algo así. Ajá, no, correcto. Como, correcto. Ajá. Suena como diferente, ¿cierto? Exactly, exactly. Va, miren, How Well. Es básicamente porque well es un adverbio y los adverbios describen un verbo. Por lo general, por eso se coloca el how well do you play the guitar, que también tocas la guitarra, ¿ok? El well está describiendo el verbo play, que también tocas la guitarra, ¿ok? Pero no podemos usar how good do you play the guitar porque la palabra good Describe un nombre. Y en este caso, no podría ser, en este caso, el do you, sino más bien con el verbo to be. 
Por ejemplo, yo le puedo decir, how good are you in the office? For example, ya no necesitamos otro verbo adicional. Solamente se usa el verbo to be con how good. ¿Ok? Ya, okay. solo con el verbo to be estamos con how good. Vale. All right. Listen up. Besides uh, the short assignment that you got it there. All right. Besides the assignments that you got in the platform, if you guys have any question with the development of the questions that appears there, eh, si alguien tiene alguna duda con el grammar knowledge que aparece en una de las tareas con, usando los how questions, si no pueden eh, o algo les sale incorrecto, Pueden mandar una notificación o preguntar en WhatsApp y ahí con gusto les vamos a ayudar, ¿ok? En la parte de la tarea. Porque aparecen un par de preguntas de estas. Uh, to, uh, on Monday, we're going to continue with this. Uh, Diego, were you about to say something? I want to say something. I want to ask something, mister. Uh, okay. did, yes. you share, did you share the manual with us, uh, mister? What are you going to share that? Or, this one is specific. you did it. No, it's in the platform. But uh, I'm going to send it to you on the on the WhatsApp group if you want. Uh, I, I, I would like to have the manual printed. If, if you okay. can share with us, it would be okay. good. OK, perfect. When Thank the class you so finish, much. I'm going to send it to, to the WhatsApp group, OK? All right. OK. Thank you so okay, much. OK, guys, listen up. Like an extra homework, como tarea adicional. Quiero que me hagan una, oras, una pregunta usando how long, how well, and how good for Monday, para el lunes. Vamos a iniciar con eso, un, un, un short feedback de esta clase el lunes. How often, how long, how well, and how good. Una de cada una, ¿ok? And we're going to start up with a brief uh, introduction to this one on Monday, ¿ok? Eso para el lunes, ¿ok? Good guys. Okay. If you don't have questions, guys, I'm gonna we're gonna stay here with the class, okay? Robert. Wanna say something, Robert? And you're saying goodbye or bye bye. Oh, good, come on. <laughs> so you gotta live like that. Yeah, the time All is right. over or what? Yeah, yeah, time is over, right? Uh, yeah. Thank you for staying with me this extra okay. seven minutes. And let's see you on Monday, <laughs> people, okay? Nos vemos okay, I appreciate I you. you had a wonderful Okay, weekend. have a good one. Bye-bye, guys. I hope okay. so. All right, Mr. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. Blessings, everybody. Bye, teacher. Okay, bye. See you Monday. See you Monday, teacher. See you Monday, mister. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night, good night teacher. All right, good night. Good night, teacher. Bye-bye. Have a wonderful weekend, guys. Bye-bye.